Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome to this video uh, on Cardano, which um, I wanted to cover. It's been a while since I since I covered Cardano and it's, um, it, it's been, or at least yesterday evening, it was all of a sudden, it was very bullish. Uh, obviously, it, it was also bullish before that. Um, the markets have been very bullish, so Cardano has just followed the markets in that. Um, but yesterday, all of a sudden, Cardano, like where it struggled a bit, little bit with staying on top of 30 cents, which, which was and still is the main, main support level, um, it struggled with that. But yesterday, all of a sudden, it got a lot of bullish momentum from the 28 EMA, and it rallied up to the, and we're going to zoom out to the daily time frame real quick, to the 0.6 Fibonacci level of this move down uh, from that move in July down to the bottoms in September, which is a very strong Fibonacci level. Uh, so it reached that level and now it's trying to break above that level. And that is why I wanted to make a video um, because the main question is, is can Cardano break above that level, get up towards 35 and 35 and a half cents? Or is it more likely that that level will hold uh, and that Cardano will fall down from here? Now, I zoomed into my chart a little bit more. So um, please give me your opinion on that. Right? I, I thought it would be better for you um, so that you can actually see, see the candles. Uh, personally, I like it more when it's like really zoomed out like this. Uh, but that's hard to I, I think that's hard to watch. Let me know. Um, but all right. So you can see. Like uh, Cardano had had some some very strong bullish momentum right here. You could argue, like, if, if you draw this channel in a certain way, you could argue that here it actually touched the, the top of the channel, which is relevant because that in combination with hitting the 0.618 Fib and that being a strong resistance level in general makes me believe that it's likely that we're going to get more bearish momentum from that level. Um, and that is also further supported by Bitcoin showing quite a lot of bearish pressure today. So for Cardano, even though even though technically it is bullish, I think on the short term it's more likely that it will that it will grab some liquidity or find some support from its main support level, which in my eyes is uh, is is really between thirty one and thirty cents, right? So that's this level right here. Um, now does that mean it's not possible that Cardano will get that bullish breakout and will rally up to thirty five cents quickly? Um, no, frankly, it's crypto, right? It's it's Friday, which is usually very volatile. Everything is possible, but given the given the given given the state of the market right now, given all of the factors playing into playing into what Cardano is doing, um, if I can, can I actually take a look at some numbers right here or not? Um, but it looks more likely that it will drop down from here. All right. So what we'll see is that Cardano will find more resistance, drop back down to that 31 cents level, find some support there, drop back down to 30 cents. And then then the main test begins. All right. Because the, the only way in which this um, this this bullish channel and this bullish momentum could continue is if Cardano from that area. Oh, I, uh, I think you cannot see it anymore right now. Uh, no, give me a moment. The only way is if Cardano is actually able to to get some sort of a bullish breakout from that 30 cents level, all right? Because that's the bottom of the channel. So from there, it would actually need to get a bullish breakout. So that's something we'll, we'll still have to see. Probably the level to break is like 31 and a half cents. Um, so in short, in summary, I expect Cardano to fall back down from here, find support at 30 cents. And then if it's able to break above 31 and a half cents, which is not the, the, the strongest resistance level, but it is, a big indication of bullish confirmation potentially, then I still think Cardano will be able to, to to rally up to 35 cents later. But for now, I think that resistance is too strong uh, and there there's not enough bullish momentum in the markets. If Bitcoin gets very bullish, then that changes, all right? But um, that's not what I expect for now. I think it's more likely that Cardano will fall and then depending on how it reacts to 30 cents as a support, it will either rally back up to 35 cents later or what is potentially also a different scenario, but I, I will keep you updated on that. Or if Cardano falls down to 30 cents and is not able to break above 31, 31 and a half cents, then it's potentially more likely that Cardano will fall down a, a, a bit more, down towards 28 and a half cents. But I'll keep you updated on that, all right? For now, bearish momentum expected in the short term um, and bullish momentum still expected in the medium to long term. So those are my thoughts. Uh, if you do have any questions about the analysis, let me know. And lastly, if you'd like to get more value and, and really gain an edge in crypto trading and investing, consider my premium group. 
All right, there are different levels. Um, with the Selenix Premium Group itself, for only, only $10 a month, you get a huge amount of value in trading setups slash uh, uh, my, my trading guides, weekly exclusive videos, news updates with potential trades you can take, a lot of value. I also still have my own signals group. So if you really just want profitable signals, make some profits and become better that way, consider joining that. But for now, this is the video. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.